In this video, I'm gonna talk about the New York adjuster's license and why it is so, so important, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV. And in this video, I wanna talk about the New York Adjuster's license and why it is absolutely important. And, and if you wanna be a remote adjuster, if you wanna stay home and, and work on your PJs from your, when you, from your couch or whatever and have the refrigerator eight, four steps away from you, you need the, the New York adjuster's license even more than a field adjuster, and, and here is why. The reason why we tell you to go after all the licenses, especially as a remote desk adjuster, but as any kind of an adjuster, is because every single one of those licenses that you get is a key that opens up that state for you to work in, right? So if you had a Hawaii license, you could have been helping, helping out in Maui, right? If you have an Alaska license, you could be helping out the next time that they have an earthquake or they have some major disaster, a tsunami, whatever, right? If you have your California license, you could have been helping out with all the rains and the flooding and everything else that happened in California from Hurricane Hillary, right? If you have a Nevada license, you could have been helping out the people on Burning Man that got their RVs stuck in the mud. Maybe not that one. But the point is, is that if you don't have the license, the California license, the Florida license, the New Mexico license, the Minnesota license, you can't work claims in those states, right? And a lot of those, there's 340 million people, give or take, uh, living in the United States, right? And the vast majority of those people own property of some kind that has insurance on it, right? And most of those people live in these really, really highly densely populated states like California, New York, uh, Texas, right? Florida, those states have lots and lots and lots of people living in them. And even in the, the, the adjacent states in a lot of those areas. If you wanna be a desk adjuster and you wanna, you let's say you live in Colorado or even Texas, Colorado doesn't have a license requirement for adjusters. Um, but even if you live in Texas where you have to get a Texas license and you're like, I just wanna be remote. You're not gonna get a whole lot of work if the only license that you have is Texas, right? Because your IA firm and the carrier in particular, in order to remain, you know, copacetic with the law, if if they have an event in New Hampshire, and they're like, hey, we need some remote adjusters. Uh, we're gonna have some folks go out and photo and scope, and then we need people to, to sit, in, sit at home at their you know breakfast nook and write these up and exactimate, right? You have to have a New Hampshire license. You can't just like sit in your place in Denver and just get claims from everywhere, right? Being the license doesn't mean that you that it only counts for people who actually go to the state and work the state, right? The, the New York adjuster's license is extremely important for really the, the primary factor that New York is one of the most populous states in the country, right? There's millions and millions of people that live in New York. Has major, the, probably the biggest me, major metro area. It's got Long Island, which is densely populated, and then the, the whole state. And then you go to the other side of the state. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of property in New York. And while they may not get like extreme weather, like say Kansas does, right, or Southwest Missouri, uh, or even Texas, they still have events there, and they still have daily claims in New York, right? So the toilet doesn't care what month it is, doesn't care what the economy is doing, doesn't care what the tropics are doing, doesn't care what, who the president is, doesn't care about any of that stuff. It's going to overflow, right? For, for its own reasons, right? Whether it broke, this wear and tear, or somebody put something in it, whatever, right? That's a daily claim. And that's a claim that if you are in, live in Colorado and they have opportunities for you where you can run desk claims, um, daily claims in another state like New York, you can get that claim, right? So why would you limit yourself to just, well, I live in, I only wanna, I only wanna do stuff in, in Texas and I really wanna work remotely just from home, right? You're, if you only have a Texas license, you're only gonna try, you're only gonna get work in Texas. And because Texas is, probably has more adjusters per capita. No, I know, it's not probably. Texas has more adjusters per capita than any other state, independent adjusters, right? So you're, you've got a lot of competition. Three out of five of your neighbors might be IAs also who are doing remote work, right? So do you wanna limit yourself by only having one license or just getting a couple, of, well, I'll just get Florida and Texas and that should be enough, right? If you wanna make good money at this, you're gonna to have to have some skin in the game. And a big part of that is having a lot of license. All of them, if you can, and, it, and I would I argue, again, 
it's, it's even more important for a desk, remote desk adjuster to have all of the license, even more so than it would be for a, a, a field adjuster who's gonna jump in their car and hit the road to handle claims in other states. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.